Okay, so hello everyone. I'm Rafael from Bugs Project, and today we're gonna see a challenge about streams. So I'm gonna share my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. 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 Okay. So in this challenge, we are using a factory method. Yeah, and uh, we are creating a list of uh, Simpsons, and then we are uh, streaming them, and we are using filter, and then we are using find first. And then you can realize that we have some sysouts here on the getter methods. So I'm going to give you some time, and then you can come up with the answer and let me know when you are ready. OK, then we have the answer. So let's see the result here. Oh, so it's uh, Homer, Margie, and Bart, and 10. So Ronaldo, congratulations again. You were right. So let's just understand why. It's this result. So here we are creating a list. There is no secret here. One thing you've got to realize with streams is that streams are lazy. So the first thing that happens in the pipeline here of the stream is the final method here. So with the find first method will be read first. Why? Because this will define how many times um, those methods will be executed. I can make it clear here for you. So in this filter method, it's going to be asked here if one of the Simpsons have the, the name of Bart. So as we are using find first here, there's no need of searching another element. So just one will do the job, OK? So what will happen? In this stream, it's going to ask if the Simpson name is equals to Bart. So the first one is Homer. As it's Homer, it's going to print Homer. And then it's going to ask if the second Simpson is Bart. But it's not. It's Marge. As we are running this, this method, it will print Marge as well. And then finally, it will be equals to Bart. When it's equals to Bart, then it will be the last time that this method will be uh, executed. And then we are going to look for the age. So as we have only Bart, we are going to ask, yeah, only with Bart. So it will be 10. So that's why it's 10. I can show you, yeah. So it will ask for Homer, so it's not Homer. So it's going to ask to Marge, it's not Marge, and then Bart. And then it's going to ask for the age, since here in this line we have only Bart. So it will print only 10, because it will go to the getter here from the Simpson object. OK, so as I said, this method defines how many times this uh, method is going to be uh, performed. So if, if we change here to collect and then collectors to list, then the result will be different because then all the objects have to be compared. For example, as we are getting a list, when we change to a list here, all the objects will be compared. So we will ask for all of them and it will ask for Lisa as well. Why? Because we are now returning a list, not only one object. So this new, um, this last object might be Bart as well. So that's why the JVM goes to the last element. And then as we have just one object here, we are going to have just Bart. We're going to return only Bart. So it's going to go just to um, this age. OK? Yeah, that's it. Do you have any questions about this challenge? Well, for me, I think this is okay for me. This is very, very well explained. Sorry, my, you know, I was, I was on mute. So basically, what I wanted to ask is, okay, so if you are putting find first uh, and then all the filter expressions for the stream, what will be the output? So say, like, instead of basically putting find first all the way at the end of the stream uh, expression, if you put find first and then the two filters. So find first will first find Homer 
and then that input will be going into filter which will try to equate to bart so it will not get anything because find first only returned homer is that right but you you wouldn't be able to call the filter um, well, yeah. after find first yeah find because the final operation yes yes because when we use the find first method on a stream is like the the end of the pipeline the end of the the stream pipeline mm -hmm. so you can't invoke any other method you can I only i mean you you can you can uh, invoke methods to get the object or do some um operation of your object but other than that with the own stream you can't do anything else once you do you use find first it's the end of the pipeline so find first is the ternary operation then in that case okay and you then the other question sorry uh, go ahead just, to, just to, to you know if you want to uh, check it out on your ide you can see that the dot filter method returns a, a stream but the find first returns an optional so you know you, you okay. just you just can't you know call something because it's not a stream okay okay exactly okay okay then and uh just so just one extra thing to add here if we were writing this same logic here it would be something similar to this as we are using find first it makes sense to use and here it's much easier to understand with streams what's happening because it, you see um, really clearly what's happening oh so we are filtering the name of a simpson to bart and then we are filtering to get an, an age greater than nine and then we are collecting the list so yeah it's, it's much clearer so that's it for today guys i'm just gonna stop sharing my screen okay so that was the challenge about streams and uh i hope you got a uh, value from this challenge and learned more about streams and um Whenever you can use streams because it makes your code clearer and uh, it, it makes it uh, more concise and uh, easier to understand. And if, if you want to know more, you can go to nobexproject.com and then there's a section there called uh, Java Dev Gym, and then you can take the challenge and you can practice your skills effectively. So that's it, and see you next week.